Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to look at a pen, uh, specifically the BIC 4 color. And of course, as many of you know, the uh, 4 color pen, of course, has been around a long time. And uh, BIC releases different uh, versions of this pen with perhaps different color inks uh, from time to time or different barrel designs and so a lot of people collect them uh, all the different versions and while I don't collect them per se if there's one that uh, I see uh, that interests me I might pick it up and this one actually I found for a dollar um, as I recall, at, at a local dollar store. So I don't know if these were, are still being made or if they were just a limited time. Um, but what's different about this one is they the t traditional BIC4 color is blue, black, red, and green. Here they omitted the green and replaced it with fluorescent yellow ink. Um, and so that's the fourth color. And not only uh, is the fluorescent yellow ink um, included instead of the green, but if you look down here, the blue, black, and red have a medium point, but the fluorescent yellow has the bold, large 1.6 millimeter point. So I guess the idea, I'm assuming, is that this pen also doubles as a highlighter uh, because I think that's probably, we'll see when it comes to the color of what you would use this color for, the, the fluorescent yellow. Uh, looks like a highlighter color to me. Uh, but here's the pen. So it's, it's on this, it's on a card. Um, with a kind of a you know plastic bubble around the pen this is made in France at the big factory there and we turn it over um, BIC four colors and this is the flu flow fluo I think we're trying to imply fluorescent um, it's a weird one to say two-in-one retractable ball pen featuring three medium points for normal writing and a large yellow point for highlighting. Well, there you go. Blue, black, and red ink with a 1.0 millimeter point size. F uh, fluor fluo yellow ink with a large 1.6 millimeter point to highlight, underline, and outline. Okay, so here we have the copyright date which is 2017 so it's five years ago BIC Australia so uh, distributed by BIC Australia, BIC New Zealand, the pen is made in France um, so here we go this really is was done for the Australian market and it sounds like there were some left and a bunch of them made their way here to the US so let's get this thing out okay and you can see uh, the bottom barrel is the um, yellow fluorescent color which is kind of fun and here we have our yellow button for the yellow ink. Uh, other than that, it's a typical, very traditional BIC four color barrel um, with the corresponding uh, retractable selectors here for your ink color, um, the pocket clip, the, the little uh, circular um, top 
and the barrel, um, which on the traditional standard one is is a is a light blue, but here we have it in a translucent uh, because you can say, see the ink tubes through there, translucent fluorescent yellow. Okay, let me get some paper and we'll write. So we're going to start writing. I'm going to just start. We'll start with the black ink and gets going right away. Now, of course, because it was in Australia, they have the U in the color. Mm -hmm. Very much. Um, Very much medium, big, point, pen. No surprise there. Uh, what's next? Red. So let me do a little bit more writing. Now I'm going to switch to this yellow. And there it is. Oh, it is pretty bright, isn't it? So it isn't quite, um, it is not quite what you'd get with a highlighter, uh, which of course is generally a felt tip, but it does, it does bring your attention to parts of the page that you have marked, um, particularly here, let's look at it with the black, four color, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, in terms of, you know, I think ink readiness, I think you'll find that this is very much like any other Bic four color or kind of crystal pen. Uh, in terms of smoothness, it is moderately smooth not I would not say it's very smooth it's moderately smooth 
Um, I find that even though the big crystals are also the same point size, that is 1.0 millimeter, they are generally smoother than the the four color pens for some reason. I don't know. There's something different either about the ink or the way that the tip and ballpoint is engineered. You know, it's probably a seven and a half. That might that might be a little even generous, but I like the uh, the yellow is kind of cool. That's something new. So, big four color pen um, with uh, no green, but instead the bright yellow fluorescent highlighting ink. So. Something different, something fun, and uh, it might be something, I don't know if you can find this pen somewhere online. Like I said, I found it, I believe it was at a dollar store. Uh, so um, you can see that these were, these were a, this is a five-year-old pen, so I'm glad it's still, <laughs> the ink is still flowing here. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I picked it up. So, uh, thank you for spending some time with me as we check this pen out. If you like what I do, please share, like, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.